when I've talked to festivals in the past, it's always the scheduling window is always the key. If you can, if you can hit that, like once you're actually thinking about your lineup, but not before it's locked down. So I just wondered with your fests, like how uh, how far do you usually start the booking, and do you usually start with your A level bands and work back, or how do you guys handle that? You know, it's 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 funny. It's a good question because we we used to the first ACL, which was our first festival we ever did. We had three weeks to book it, and it was day and night. And you know, we were Amy and 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 I in Houston. We're all just we were up till midnight every night dealing with it. Um, but now with so many festivals all over the world, we are the day after the festival's over. We are working on next year, and sometimes we're talking to headliners before that. Um, it, it, it's organic. It's all about who's available. So it, I might get a headliner one year that's right out of the box. And last year on ACL, I was working on a headliner uh, until a week before we went on sale. So it all about it's all about who's working, when they're working, um, what's their availability, what part of the world they're going to be in. And but we do start literally maybe not the next day, but the day after next after we get you know get over our, our fatigue and our hangover. I got a question for right. you, Charles. Do you have a whole team of people that help you put that together? You guys sit in the room and come uh, up yeah. with ideas? I, I, I wouldn't be able to. I mean, look, I, I, uh, I do booking, but I'm not in, in the day-to-day uh, of, the, of the nuts and bolts of it. You know, Houston does all the Lollapaloozas all across the world and Big Day Out, and he's a machine. And Amy Corbin books, runs our concerts division, uh, and books a ton of arena shows, books a lot of club shows, and also books uh, ACL. Um, and we have 15 talent buyers on the floor, so wow. it goes down from there. There's a ton of there's a ton of great kids here who know music. If I had to book it, there there wouldn't be anybody at the show anymore. There, I'd sell 10 <laughs> tickets and it became over. I'm 45 years old, so uh, the people who are on the, the front lines of the clubs, uh, the Christian Chianis of the world here, and Bobby Clay's and Andrew Blanks, and a lot of really good younger kids who who are out seeing shows, who are who are. Uh, know what's going on, know what's bubbling at the 200 capacity level. And that's kind of what makes the festival. It's not about the headliners. It's about the, the, the mid-level and the earlier bands that you can discover. And I think that's why people like coming to the shows. I got to tell you, I'm looking at your lineup here for the show in Chicago, and it's freaking awesome. The lineup you had down in Chile was even sicker. 